Now, number 19 is sort of the trickiest one on the paper because um, it's going to take more than one step to do it. Now, as soon as you see this arc length happening, um, your instinct should be telling you um, we're probably going to use part over whole equals part over whole, like we have done on all of these problems. So let's just start setting it up and see what we have and what we don't have. So um, let's do this. So part over whole. On this side, on the right, we normally do part over whole degrees. Do we have that? Well, you see the 55. So that's partial degrees. And the total degrees are always 360. All right, so we have that. On the left side, we usually do length. So partial length divided by the total length. Do we have either one of these? Well, yes, we do. Um, we have the partial length, the arc length of 19.71. So that would go here, the partial length, 19.71. Now, what goes here is the whole length, also known as the circumference. Um, so I can, I'm just going to put a big C here. Again, don't just put X. If you put X and you find it, you're going to forget, and you're going to think that that's the final answer, and it isn't. Um, because, unlike the last problem, where we were being asked to find the circumference, so when we found the circumference, we went, yay, we're done. On this problem, we are being asked to find the radius. Now, the good news is, once we find the circumference, finding the radius should be pretty easy. But um, we will not be done when we find the circumference, so do not stop. So don't use x. So let's cross multiply. First, let's reduce this. 55 over 360. OK, 55 over 360. That's 11 over 72. Let's use that. No, you guys are OK. You don't have to be totally silent. This is my time, students at school. You in my house, okay? <laughs> if there's chickens clucking in the background, yeah, that's right. My little girl's playing Minecraft. I'm not going to tell you what my wife is doing, <laughs> but you might hear some chickens or zombies, or uh, you're not going to hear the creepers because they don't make any noise, except for boom. Or pssst, pssst. Yeah, because they sizzle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so no. No, I'm not going to shush my family. My family can talk. My family can play. And it will just have to be on the video. And you all have to deal with it. You know why? Because it's 7 o'clock at night. And I'm doing school work. And my daddy is crazy. <laughs> that is true. Very true. Let me be clear. It is very important that we get to the bottom of this problem. So, like I was saying, before I lost my head, 19.71 over C. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we will find C, but we won't be done. So let's cross multiply. So if we do that, C times 11, that's 11 C. Now, 72 times 19.71. Let's see if that makes a nice number that we can work with. 72. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. I meant to do this. Okay, so let's see. 72 times 19.71. See what we get. All right. 1419.12. Ah, uh, we can work with that. Okay. So, uh, clearly we need to divide both sides by 11. Whoops, I want to use purple. Divide by 11. Divide by 11. Um, okay, so I'm going to go back to the calculator. The number's already there, so we can just hit divided by 11. All right, this just, it does it, so just trust me. 
So that is 129.01. 129.01. Now, remember, this is not the answer. This is something very useful. I'm going to put a circle around it, but I'm not going to put a box around it. Um, because we need the radius. Okay, well we have the circumference, we need the radius. How are we going to do that? Well, the good news is we've already done that. Let's look at some of the other problems that we've done. Uh, look back at problem number three, earlier in this same lesson. Look what we had. We had the circumference, and we had to find the radius. How did we do it? Well, we, we used the formula, c equals 2 pi r. We took the circumference, we put it in the formula, and we divided to find the r. So that is what we're going to do. So, just like we did on problem number three, we're going to use the formula c equals 2 pi r. Um, but we're going to take this circumference and we're going to substitute it in. So we're going to have 129.01 equals 2 pi r. See that r? That's the radius that we wanted. So if we just divide both sides by 2 pi, we should have our answer. So divide by 2 pi. Okay, all this cancels out. Okay, divided by 2 pi. And you know what? If we look in the calculator, this number is still there. So I don't really don't even have to round it. Like I, I just put 0 0.01 here, but I really like all those decimals. So let's just go ahead and do divided by, okay, that didn't work out so well. You know what, I'm just gonna type it in. 129.01 divided by two pi. And I'm gonna get 20.5. Five, three. That is the radius. Okay, so the radius was 20.53. And I should put the units centimeters. Alright, but that is the answer. Alright, it just occurred to me something that I need to point out to you guys. Um, just then, when I put this in my calculator, all right, I was very careful to type this in as a fraction with a numerator and denominator, just like this. Um, I did not want to use this division sign. And uh, I just remember that that's a common mistake that students make. Notice the answer is 20.53. Now let's look back and see what would have happened if I did 129.01 divided by 2 pi without making it a fraction like this. Okay, watch this. 129.01 divided by 2 pi. Oh, look, 202.6. That is completely different than what we got when we did it as a fraction. So why is that? Well, the reason why is because of the order of operations. Your calculator is just dividing by 2, and then it's actually multiplying by pi. Um, so just be careful. My advice to you is, um, if you want to divide by something, always use the fraction button. Always make it a fraction when you divide. It always will work out correctly. Um, some kids don't take that advice. Um, if you want to use the division key like this, then you have to use parentheses. Um, that way the pi will be included. So you have to do like this. If you, whoops, wrong. If you want to divide by 2 pi using the division sign, you have to put the 2 pi in parentheses. Now it's dividing by the 2 and the pi instead of just the 2. 
and you see we will get the same 20.53 that we're supposed to get so please I hope you didn't space out too much I know this is a long video um, but that is a common mistake that kids make see this right here don't do this um, if you're gonna use a division sign with something with a more than one part to it you have to put it in parentheses but again mr. Burton recommends always using fraction mode all right I hope this long video has been worth it worth your time I kind of hope that you fast forwarded and just skip to the parts that you needed um, if uh, you appreciate this video please show your appreciation by hitting uh, that like button give me a quick thumbs up and uh, I will appreciate you right back in the meantime I will uh, see you on the next video